Welcome back to PyWatch YouTube and today a quick tip about how to speed up making a whole bunch of objects in the database with Django. So instead of just creating objects one by one, uh, you can use the bulk insert and I'm going to show you how. So a bit of context, I am actually preparing a video to do to explain the M plus one problem in Django when you do a lot of uh, subqueries. So I was making a test repo, did a bit of uh, ChatGPT to come up with some boilerplate code. So I have a model with an author and a book uh, models, and uh, the book has a foreign key to author. And I made a Django command to populate the data. And as I'm going to show an ORM performance issue, I wanted to um, create a whole bunch of uh, records, actually a million books. So a thousand authors and a thousand books for each author. So a thousand times thousand would be a, a million book objects. In the first iteration, it uh, was actually suggested making the objects one by one, right? So um, the ORM, you can do model.objects.create and it will make one row in database. So it was doing that a thousand times and then <laughs> Four in four, so thousand and thousand was doing this operation a million times, and running that um, it worked, right? You got a thousand authors and uh, a million books, but it took like eighteen minutes. I thought, well, that's that's not acceptable, so I asked it to speed it up, and that's also where ChatGPT is awesome. But you also kind of need to know what to ask, right? So, in my question, I directly uh, mentioned the bulk insert. And uh, then I got this code. So it's almost the same, same structure. But now instead of doing the object.create in the loop, it's first going to build an authors list. And then it's going to do one bulk create of the authors. Same with the books. Instead of doing a book.object.create uh, in the <laughs> double loop, it's going to first build up a list of all the books and then do a bulk uh, create. So let's run that and see um, how much of an improvement that uh, causes. Because in the end, we do only two operations here and here. So I'm going to pipe out the database. I'm going to run migrations again to create a new database. I'm just using SQLite, the standard database that comes in settings. And um, let's run that command again. Climate. And again, just as a reminder, last time it took 18 minutes. And now it's already done, uh, 30 seconds. So from 18 minutes to 30 seconds, that's a 36 times speed up um, just by bundling all the operations and do one bulk create. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, that's a major speed up. So good to know these things. And as I already alluded to, um, in one of the next videos, I will go into um, speeding up Django queries. Um, so explaining the N plus one problem, what it is, show a practical example, uh, probably using this data and uh, do another Django performance video. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow.